Thursday night high school football featured the Cleveland Storm looking for their fifth win in a row taking on the Highland Hornets. The Hornets have been struggling on the season on the verge of losing five in a row. We pick it up in the first quarter. Quarterback Keon Hami, one of the top quarterbacks in New Mexico, hooking up with one of the top receivers in New Mexico, Andre LaRossi. There's going to be a bunch of Cleveland Storm highlights in this one. Jesse Nieto punches it in just like that at 7-0. This is probably going to be the only highlight we show of the Hornets. That's Brian Medina, a three-year starter, getting up the field for a first down. More Cleveland highlights. Hami hooking up with your boy, Andre LaRossi. LaRossi turning into a cartoon character, getting up the sideline. Big yards tonight. Storm still doing it big. Kian Hami hooking up with Marcus Williams. Another first down. A few plays later. Hami going to pitch out to Jesse Nieto. Check this out. Great job reading your blocks, young man. Gets up the field, touchdown. His second of the night. More storm. Hami hooking out with Andre LaRossi up the sideline. You're not going to catch him. Touchdown. LaRossi having a big night tonight. Hami still doing work. Sterling Napier. Some bone crushing hits tonight. <laughs> He's a UTEP commit. This is the first play of the third quarter. Gabe Ortega taking it to the house on a kick return. Cleveland wins this one. 54-0. They move to 5-0 on the season, setting up a big one next week with Sandia. We, our goal is to come out and play storm football. If that means be 5-0, that means be 5-0. We've come out and we've played really good. A lot of that's contributed to our seniors. We've got a really good senior class, lots of leadership. Uh, they bought into what we're doing as coaches. They bought into each other as teammates. And you're seeing a product of that on, on the field. You know, but Nobody wants to see what you do in, in September and October. It's about what you do in November and December. And that's our goal. Continue to climb that ladder one rung at a time and do our job week in, week out. Uh, New Mexico is going to see two really strong 5A programs battle it out. You know, and I think Sandia's defense isn't giving up a lot of yardage. Uh, they're really strong up front. Those two defensive tackles, the defensive end, those linebackers really lock it down and force you to do some things. So we're going to have to really do our homework and be sure we have a good scheme to attack them from an offensive standpoint. And their quarterback's really coming along, you know, so we're going to have to defend them and be sound what we do defensively. But it is, it's a big game. It's going to be a measuring stick for both teams and see where we both stand in the state.